Certified SOLIDWORKS Associate Sample Exam Question 7. In this question, you should build an assembly, arrange it in a certain way, and then check where is the center of mass of this assembly. Well, here you will check the center of mass. It's very important to pay attention to the origin. It's noted in the drawing. Also, you have three balloons in the drawing but unfortunately there is a small mistake in the sample exam itself and for the third note actually the text is missing so looking on the way it's aligned i suppose it's just parallel to this plane here because this part is fixed in space what else you should pay attention to is how the mate alignments are done but for this you also have some notes. So first step is to download the files which you will need for the assembly. If you're doing this through the Tangix tester, you will have a link with the zip file. Otherwise, this is coming with the zip file that you download from the SOLIDWORKS website. Then the next step is to open the sample files. We have one long pin when it's asking if you, uh, if you want a feature recognition, just say no. Then we have the short pin. And the chain link. After we open them, we are going to our assembly and start placing them one by one inside the assembly. So we need two long pins. Three short ones. and four chain links. Once we have all the parts in the assembly, we have to align them. As you can see, this is the X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Now, the region should be on the top of one of the long pins. To see the regions, go to View, Hide, Show, Origins. Now we see all the different regions. This is the one of our assembly and this should be mated with this here. Once we have we are ready with this, we can hide the regions. And we can start mating our parts. As I said, here the information is missing of the orientation of this part, but it's fixed. I assume it's aligned to the front plane parallel. For this pin is written that it's coincident to the side faces and the no clearance is supposed to be here. Now the other step is this is concentric here. 
but the question is how it's positioned should we use uh, I mean it should be in the middle but can we use coincident to check this I will go out of the mate go to evaluate and measure the length here is 40 and the length here is 40 so we can just use coincident on one of the sides Once we have arranged all the mates, or almost all the mates, now we have to make the angle mates, the one between here and here is supposed to be twenty five. We have just to find the correct alignment here it is then we have an angle between these two which should be 125 and the last one is between this and this 130 degrees now we are ready with our assembly so only the pins are not fixed uh, because they can rotate but that's all we have to do for this question and now we have to check where is the center of the mass we go to evaluate mass properties it will ask to rebuild the assembly and here we have the center of mass when even looking on the x is 348.66 this means it's supposed to be a then we check also y it's the same and z is the same so the correct answer to this question is a let us check now the answer is here yes it's a I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!